Are you over cooking? Perhaps you lost some inspiration. Or maybe you're just trying to eat less meat. So today we're making tuna salad. have a random can of tuna kind of lying around in our pantry. So today we want to embrace um, just using what we have. Typically Lukman and I prefer not to eat from the can but we have it and we want to use it and embrace it. So this tuna salad is really fresh, it's really easy, there's no cooking involved and you can whip it up really fast. So let's get to it. Okay so with the theme of embracing what you have we really recommend just use what you have, no need to go buy anything. If you have fresh herbs, if you have onion, tomato, great. We're using a little Dijon mustard today. You could use some lemon. Um, and we're gonna eat this either over a salad, maybe in some bread, um, perhaps a lentil wrap. We'll link up here, or a crepe. We'll also link up here. And again, this is so quick and easy to make that you can save your time and go watch a movie or do something fun. Um, we want this recipe to be stress-free, easy, using what you have. Okay, so first thing we do is strain our tuna. I recommend buying tuna in water so that you don't have any soy oil, canola oil, anything like that. Um, so we strain everything out and then we're just gonna chop one tomato, one small onion, really small. We're just gonna chop a tiny bit of cilantro. Again, use any fresh herbs you have. A little olive oil and some Dijon mustard. Mix it all together and we'll have our lovely little salad. Now, this is something that's perfect. Tuna is so nice uh, to take with you if you're hiking or going on a trip. It stores really well, it's uh, light to carry, and it's really nutritional, right? There's a lot of protein and nutrients in there. So yeah, quick little tip. <laughs> And we will put also salt and pepper in here, but if you have more veggies, more onions, more tomatoes, maybe you want to put a green bell pepper or something in there, do so. Make the salad as large as you would like. Again, more plants is always better, right? <laughs> our chopped tomato, onion, I'm gonna chop a little bit of cilantro and we're just throwing everything into our bowl and mix it really well with some olive oil, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, we put out a new recipe every Thursday. We also have a lot of Moroccan vlogs. We have some great yoga content. So yeah, feel free, enjoy the channel. So I love capers, Lookman's not a really big fan, so I'm just gonna put them on top. Just a smidge of pepper. And don't forget if your tuna has salt in it, be sure to just put a tiny bit of salt. You don't wanna overdo it. <laughs> Hi guys! Hello again! Thank you so much for your support and for your like and sub subscribe. We really appreciate it. Okay, I will do the final decoration. We have some lettuce over here uh, because Teresa she likes lettuce. Actually, we call it Shlada in Morocco. Then I'm putting some lettuce here just for decoration and then we will, and for eating for sure. Then we have so much tuna. Just I will we will make it a nice shape.
this is just some presentation. Okay. And, all, and uh, also guys, you can feel free to add mini veggies around. Now we will put some uh, even black olives or green olives because the taste of it, it has to be salty and sour. You can add anything, it's much with that. Okay. You can just add some olives or preserved lemon also. We have also like green olives chopped in small pieces. Also, it's nice to put it here because when you have the spoon, you don't have one olive. It's so sour, you have only a little bit. Okay, I hope you can enjoy the salad because it's super easy. You, know, you don't need a flame or you can do it in a five minutes with all veggies you have and the toner also. I hope you will like it. And if you like it, leave us a comment. Thank you so much, guy, for watching. This microphone doesn't go out. You have to speak forever now. Oh, okay, I got it.